And so I thought that it's perhaps appropriate to kick off Build by talking to one such developer. In fact, he's a musician who had a dream, and he calls himself an accidental developer, but who had a dream to change how music is composed. Please help me welcome David William Hearn. Hi, David. Hi. It's great seeing you. Great to be here. Thanks for coming up. Why, why don't you tell us a little bit about your dream, your journey so far? Absolutely. So music notation is probably something that a lot of you in this room haven't really thought about before. But it really is the written language of music. It's almost like a coding language of music, actually. In fact, it has some similarities with code. Uh, you can even write in C sharp or F sharp. F sharp is probably better for that. Uh, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> Uh, up until now, there's been two main ways that you can really write music. Traditionally, using pen and paper, which is very creative, maybe not that convenient sometimes. Or the digital way, which is very laborious to input, but very convenient once it's in that form. So I really wanted to make something where you could take the creativity and the convenience and smash them together and create this brand new way of writing music. Amazing. Do you want to show us what you built? Absolutely. Let's have a look. So StaffPad is handwriting recognition for music notation. I've actually been working on a piece the last few weeks, a piece for string quartet and piano. And as you can see, I can use touch to interact with the score. You can see we've got a big score here. This is no nursery rhyme. And let's scroll to the end, and we've got a couple of bars left to do. So I figured we could finish it up on stage. Oh, for sure. You're, you're talking to a music illiterate, but go ahead. Oh, well, I, yeah. I don't know how to run a big company. So. <laughs> OK, let's uh, just take the pen. And I'm going to start writing in the bar. It's, so, it's very natural. The idea behind the app was that if you could write music, you should be able to, uh, hey. <laughs> If you can write music, you should be able to know how to use the app. You don't need to really learn too much. It's very intuitive. As I move into the next bar, the music notation is recognized and turned into That's type of cool. notation. <laughs> right, thank you. Yeah. I'm going to turn these off. Let's get rid of those. Fantastic. This is actually interactive notation now. So I can add staccato dots, and maybe I should slur some of these too. Do you think? Slow means play it like you're drunk. Okay. I'm going to get in so much trouble for that. <laughs> Using touch, I can double tap the bar, select the bar, and just pull this out. And this is the great thing about Surface and Windows. It was really the only platform that we could do this for, because it really understands the difference between my fingers and the pen. And that key, that's really key to making this intuitive and natural. I'm just going to take this last beat. We're going to erase that using the pen eraser. And I'm going to draw in a string run here. Pull that up, and you can see there we've got a nice fast string run up to the top. So let me just do one last thing. Double tap, copy this down. That's cool. Oh, no, we don't want that. OK, and now we can play this back. And there you go. We've awesome, the awesome, awesome. Thanks very much. What's been the reaction? I know that this has been out for a few months, is it now? No, just a few weeks. A few weeks. And the okay. reaction has already been absolutely incredible, breathtaking, really. We've heard from people all over the world. We heard from an 11-year-old composer who's writing her second opera on the app, not her first, her second, and a 91-year-old who's fallen back in love with writing music again. It's really been the students uh, using it in the classroom, <coughs> classroom, and it's really just an incredible... Reaction, it's been breathtaking. Awesome. Thank you so much, David. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Thanks you a lot. Much.